Hey guys, welcome back to Easy Life. Today we continue our quarter final of the Tour Championship against Mark Allen on Snooker 19 career mode. This is part 96 of the career mode and this is the deciding frame. So can we get past the hurdle of a top 16 player? Oh! Not a good start. Missing a ball, not what we want to work. Not the way we want to start a decider. Oh no, not, especially not if he's going to play like this. So we've just made a century in the last frame. Uh, if you didn't see that, we'll go back and watch that. I do advise it. It was a good, it was a good century. It was a good frame. It was well played, you know. Oh, a good shot. So what's the damage going to be for that silly shot from us? It wasn't a silly shot. It was a tough shot, in all fairness. But it just, there's just so much riding on it that I think it caused me to miss. He got a cannon, but not. But he didn't free too many balls. Not as many as he probably would have liked it to have. But he's got another angle. This is evil. Well, oh, well, okay. Are we going to get another chance? Or you want to decide as a chance? I mean, you could argue we've had as. Well, we are back at the table. Nothing else, we're back at the table and we're going to do what we did in the last frame, you know, we forced a chance out of... Ah! We forced a chance out of this sort of play. Dirty, rolling into the pack. Is it going to reach the pack? Is it going to reach the pack? Not quite. So you've just given Alan four penalty points that he really shouldn't have. Could come in handy later on. Hopefully they don't benefit Alan later on, or disadvantage us in any way. Okay, uh, if that's the game Alan's willing to play, I'll play it too. No! Oh no! I just left. I just opened up. I just. I just. I just left him a pot. What a complete fool! He's got a huge lead in this frame now, and it's getting bigger and bigger. Oh my god, we've just thrown another tournament down the pan. What an idiot. Ah. Oh. Hmm. He just missed. Phone the police. <laughs> Listen to me, I'm just, I'm just getting so excited. I'm just getting, this is the most enthralling decider I've ever played in. We potted! Let's go! It's on! It's on! It's coming home. We've got it. Football's coming home, guys. Whether it did or not is another matter. But I'm not even going to bother playing potting here. No, I will. Oh well, because you never know, I might get a cannon. Well, I didn't expect to be on anything. It was wishful thinking that I might have cannoned into them. But it wasn't, it wasn't something I was expecting. I wasn't playing that shot with the intention of landing on something. I just potted the green because I thought, you never know, those points couldn't come in handy, could come in handy later. So I'm just going to play this... It's going to play a waiting game now. I know Alan's the one who really would probably benefit out of that because he's the one with the lead, but hey, I want to get past this guy. I'm willing to play patient. I'm willing to be patient. You know, I, I, I just lost a decider in the previous match and I was a long way in front in that match. This one I'm behind in. Can I pinch if I'm from behind? So that, that snooker, well, that safety, has given me a chance. Given me a chance.
50 a pound. Nicely done. Nicely done, we hear from Neil Fowles by the end of that. By the end, at the end of those highly pulsating moments. I was going to initially play it lightly, but I thought, what's the point in playing it lightly? Because if I play it lightly, it ain't going to affect if I miss it or get it. If I miss it, then I'd, I'd still be leaving it on. But if I pot it, it just means I won't be on anything easy. So I'm going to have to pull off a tough shot next time. And now it's just this is just a matter of holding my nerve. Having said that, I can't. I don't know if the pink spot's vacant or what. Where's the pink spot? Like I don't know. So I'm, I'm not going to play for that red that I was initially thinking of. Because if the pink spot covers it, I'm going to be I'd be so annoyed. If the pink's covering it, I don't know where the pink's going to go. Like because the pink spot. Okay, it is. It does. This spot isn't available. Then I'm, I'm presuming. So I'm presuming that the pink spot isn't vacant. Sorry, yeah, isn't vacant. So yeah, that's uh, that's the way it is. So there we go, yeah. Right, okay, so we're going to take this red into the middle pocket. Just nice and simple, hopefully it goes. No, not the middle pocket, what am I talking about? Have I lost the plot or am I just getting nervous? Probably the latter. Haven't lost the plot. Although situations like these do do bring out the best and the worst. They say they bring out the best, but uh, I'd say they bring out the worst in people. They bring out the worst emotions, fear, and you know I, I underhit that, and you know it because obviously if I didn't underhit that, that would have been fine. You know, I'm laughing, I'm, I'm I'm chilling. We're in the quarters probably. Sorry, not the quarters, the semis. You know, there's a lot on stake here. There's a lot at stake. You know. Like we've really earned to get, like we've really worked hard to get to the quarters. Not we've, we've held our look. We've held our ranking up by by doing all right in events. That's why we're here at the Tour Championship. But we did start at world number one, but that was a really good shot. We started at world number one, but we did hold our ranking up through doing all right in events. Not not particularly well, bar one event. The that obviously was the European Masters. Unsurprisingly, that's the one I could. That's that's the event that I consider went the best for me. Believe it or not. I mean, with good reason, you'd have to say, obviously, that's my best event of the season. It's the one I won. I mean, obviously, that's the best. That's my, that's my best, you know? And I'm just talking a load of rubbish just to keep myself entertained. Keep my mind off the nerves. Oh, and look at that. We've taken a lead. Taken a lead, you know? In front, in frame and match. Okay, I just tried to remove that red. Got a nice angle on the pink to get to the back to the red, so that's it's helpful because you know that red might have been a potential stumbling block on the cushion. There's a similar red like that for Stuart Bingham in his court his semi final against Mark Selby at the World Championship and what proved to be the last frame. Bingham did get the red in and it was a tough shot, but he just failed to get position on the black and there was a safety battle and Selby played some absolute stinkers in that safety battle, he really did, but he got away with them. So you know, Bingham really should have Bingham should have been in the final. Well sorry, I don't know if Bingham should have been in the final. He yes he should have because the amount of frames he threw away, but then again Selby might think the same. Selby but uh, I don't know if Bingham should have been in the final or if or, I don't know if Bingham should have been in the final, or if Bing Bingham should have taken that to a decider, that's what I mean. Because obviously it was 16-15, I think, when that happened. I don't know if you, any of you guys watched that, don't know the frame I'm talking about. It was the last frame of the match, it was that evening, you know, because they'd have to carry that match over to the evening session because it was taking too long. Well, that was such a tense day of snooker. Kyron Wilson, man, just... I don't even want to... That was just absolutely awful. And we blew that lead. And Bingham, that was an interest. That was a really interesting match, like Selby and Bingham. Second best of the tournament, I'd say it was really good, but that Sullivan McGill was just too good. 
<laughs> I, know, I know Sullivan lost it, which was obviously sad, as in a Sullivan supporter, but McGill, you know, he played well. 59. So 59 break here, no sentry on. And this green is for is to beat a top 16 players and to go over the hurdle, and you might hear a bit of a victory if I get this. Yes! I did it! That means so much. I haven't thrown the Tour Championship. We're in the semis, guys! And the mess up has come. The mess up has the mess up. Well, I don't know if we're in the semis. I don't want to. Don't want to speak too soon. You know, count my chickens. I spoke about it earlier. Counting your eggs before they've hatched. Because he could come back. He's it will come back from snookers. I'm sure. And obviously, it would hurt to, to be robbed from this point. He needs two of them, I believe, but he can. But the AI, for some reason, are allowed to make you replay snookers on this game. If this goes in, you should seal the deal. The handshake should be coming now. So long as these balls. Yeah, I think that. I think that has sealed the deal. I think we'll be in the semi-finals, guys. I think we have got past. The top, the top 16 hurdle. We've beaten a top 16 player. We've beat it at the top. We've beat him at the Tour Championship. What an event to do it! The Tour Championship, one of the biggest events of the season. You know, good preparation for the big one in a few months. To, uh, well, in real life, it's a month after the Tour Championship, really. A month and a bit, you know, probably. This tournament's at the end of March. The Tour Championship. Well, it's, right, it's about half a month. That's what I mean. Not a month and a half. And then the Tour Champion, the World Championship starts mid-April. So we got in the best of 11 semi final. We are going to get. Dun dun dun, I'll close my eyes. Waiting for the music. John Higgins! Wow, a player who's been doing remarkably well. I was going to say we haven't played in our career mode, but we have. Remember that match, you know? Uh, it was he, we, he, he whitewashed us 4 0 at the Paul Hunter Classic, basically. We, 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 uh, we, we struggled. So yeah. Should be a good one, best of 11 frames. That should be out in um, a couple of days' time. No, sorry, tomorrow, because we did this match went to a decider. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be take, that, 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 that's out tomorrow. Yeah, so this is our record. We've, we've had 38 um, match wins and 17 losses. And look at our recent schedule. You know, it's the last 10 matches. We've lost five, we've won five. So obviously those two losses, that was the... So that, 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 the most recent one is the win against Allen. The, the loss before that... Like the ninth one along is the Wilson match. The one before that is the Williams match. Those three wins in a row with the shootout. That loss before the three wins is um, World Grand Prix. Is World Grand Prix Mark Williams? The win was Jimmy Robertson. The World Grand Prix. And then those two losses. I think that loss, that uh, first loss, the first one you can see, the first loss that was four six Luca Brussel at the uh, UK Championship. And that second one was when we lost to Judd Trump at the Masters. So yeah, that's our recent schedule. Pretty depressing, but it looks like we're out of uh, a pretty tough period. That that match kind of, you know, that the yeah, you know, the previous match we played against Kyron Wilson, I feel was we did show signs of good form, and we we nearly beat him. But this one we have beaten the top player. I'm really happy about that. Hopefully we can beat Higgins. He's been on good form at the moment. World number three. He's, he's won a lot of tournaments in this uh, virtual season. Uh, so Judd Trump's at the top, Mark Williams second, and then Higgins third, and then we're sitting at fourth. Robertson fifth, Selby sixth, Allen seven, Kyron Wilson eight. So they're the players in the tournament. So here we just played four. We pl four's played seven. That doesn't happen in real life. We would have in real life we would have got world number five. We would have got fifth. We would have fifth place. Uh, Neil Robertson, although you never know, maybe one year list, which doesn't even exist. So here's the reigning list of champions. Ronnie O'Sullivan has 36. Stephen Ender, well, when I say Ronnie O'Sullivan, I mean real life Ronnie O'Sullivan, but he actually has 37. But this is obviously 2019, 2018, whatever it's made. And then you've got Higgins, Hendry, Davis, Williams, Robertson, Selby, Ding, Trump, Jimmy White, Parrot, Ebden, Murphy, Doherty, Bingham, Allen, Maguire, and then Lee, Reardon, Carter.
Most cards have got four. Well done. And then you've got loads of players stuck on three, two, and one. Then you've got the elite at the top. You know. Obviously, Judd Trump is. Judd Trump, on this game, it says he has 11. Just shows you how well Judd Trump's been playing of late. Because it's, it's only a couple years, really, since this game's been released. Couple, two years and a bit, you know. Judd Trump, 11, on this, 11 titles when this game was made. 22 in real life. Double. Wow. So 11 titles in, what, 14 years? And then 11 titles in two years. I think that's, I think that's the chat. I think that's form. You know, if that graph continues, well, 14 titles in a year. No, 11 titles in a year. Boy, let's hope, let's hope that the game does uh, see different players winning it. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to insult Trump, but, uh, you know, it's interesting to see more different players win it. As our trophy cabinet, we've uh, claimed the European Masters. Best tournament of the season. My favourite, I really enjoyed that. Look at that, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? One, the one that I'm most proud of. It just says I'm a finalist. <laughs> it just says I'm a finalist. I bloody won it. What's this thing? What's this thing saying? I'm not a finalist. I won that event. Finalist is if you're runner-up, isn't it? Well, I suppose it can be if you win it, because it just means you've reached the final, but still. But how's it going? Of late. So since the uh, new year, if you like, on this game, Masters round one, World Grand Prix round two, Shootout round four, Players one, uh, round one, Tour Championship, we're in the semi-finals. So, you know, something to be proud of that we're in the semi-finals. You know, very happy about it, of course. What's this records thing? Trophy cabinet. Career record. Let's have a little look at these. So, obviously we've played 55 matches, 138. So that means our win success win rate is 69%, which you know isn't isn't too bad. Nearly nearly 70%. Which is what I'd say is pretty solid. Highest break 136. When was that? Was it European Masters? Or was it um was it uh, international championship? Average break is 72, I'd say that's pretty high. I'm pretty sure that I don't know how that's our average break though. Because we make so many little pathetic breaks of one, two, three, maybe forty. We don't make that many centuries and big breaks, do we? That's pretty impressive, unless they're only taking up, unless they're only taking breaks like bigger than one or something. Maybe I can believe it. World number four, career earnings, two hundred two hundred eighty three thousand and twenty five. Not bad. And then championships, we've got one ranked, the European Masters. So it doesn't tell us how many centuries we've met, uh, we've uh, had. What's our quick match record? Okay, oh, okay. Oh, let's even let's just ignore our. Uh, win streak with percentage seven percent. I mean, it's saying it's saying Ronnie O'Sullivan. I don't even play as Ronnie O'Sullivan every time. I mean, I play so many different players on the game. It's ridiculous. Like, I played as Liu Haoshan. I played as Kurt Mafflin. I played as um. Also, I played as Liu Haoshan, Kurt Mafflin. Uh, maybe played more as Ronnie. Played. You, know, you saw John Higgins and Yambing Tower played as. You did see the Ronnie match where he lost six 0 to Sonny Akani. That was when we were trash. But yeah, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Really hope you enjoyed that video. I just extended it on there a bit, just cause, just messing around on the game. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching, guys. See you soon. Have a great day and goodbye.